Okay, so before moving on in sequencer and actually editing the clips, we're going to have a look at our environment and adjust it a little bit. So we've already learned how to do this. Uh, depends on the environment you've selected. So I picked the Edith Finch uh, wedding scene, but I don't. It's not really a wedding scene that we're using it for. So I'm going to just go to the top. So if you recall, it's E and right click. And I can see the whole environment and maybe I even want to have my scenes up here. So you decide. And what I want to do now is clean it up. I'm going to get rid of these wetting chairs. Okay. So one at a time, I'm going to delete them all. And I think I'm going to make it like there's a floor over here. So uh, give me two seconds. I'll just delete all of these. So I deleted all of those. And I'm also going to create like a dance floor over here, I decided. So I'm going to go under... Uh, my place actors I'm just going to place a cube and I am going to uh, resize it using the W E R keys so I'm going to actually I'm going to move it up okay press the uh, make it really long so we want a dance floor of some kind and maybe uh, not as thick so that that's where the the action kind of is make it a little bit bigger and so you might have to you know create some custom thing just make sure you can press the N key and it'll drop it to the floor you can make it even go a little bit more so that the rocks you don't want the rocks coming through uh, and I'm definitely gonna move it off the in the distance here maybe that's what happens is the dance floor is over here and under the starter content that uh, I told you to add there's all kinds of material, so maybe we want to add some nice kind of wooden floor. All right, let's go with that and just drag it. So that's where the dance floor is. So we want something really simple. Let's go have a quick look. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe you want to create a little bit more. I'm going to just go quicker for our scene. Now, one thing that I think we may want to do just to keep it simple is go get a point light and put it at the top and bring that into our scene. And I will actually uh, make this like a major light that does a lot. And it's going to cover most of the scene. So what we want to do, I'm just going to move my video here. Uh, I want to increase the attenuation so that it covers almost everything. And now I may want to drop a model in just to see what it looks like. Let's just go get our basic pearl model. Drop her in. Press F and uh, E. Let's just see. Yeah, so you see now there's a little bit of light. And if I turn, it's pretty easy. You can turn the light off. So I just type point light. And so the light I just dragged in the scene. You see how there's a little bit of a little more light. Maybe I want to increase this to 10. See what happens. So you get a little bit more light. You can even change the color of the light to red or something. But I don't know if I like that. I'm just going to click it and leave it like that. So it adds a little bit. So just by turning it on and off. Now you could get fancier with the lighting, but I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to delete her for now. So now our environment is ready and we set up. We're not placing the characters in yet because we're going to do that in sequencer. So uh, what I am put in my uh, uh, beat board or my action sequence uh, or my previs, which is all the same thing, is that they will see uh, one character will be standing here and another one will be standing on the mountain and I'll have to just get rid of this here for now and if I need to drag it in at some point I will we'll do it so they will see each other type of across the room type of thing okay so that's how you set up the environment that's an important step I would say just add a light too uh, we can add some extra lights later uh, but uh, depending on your scene if it's too dark uh, uh, I would add a couple point lights, maybe not too many uh, for now. And there's different ways to do the lighting, but that is one way you can do it. Okay. Thank you.